Hello everyone, it's Miss Toms here and welcome to today's creative writing lesson. This is the second video in the Quirky Creative series. You are going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. You could follow along and complete this with us or have a go at the end. It's completely up to you. This week we will be helping you to create a detailed character profile full of amazing descriptions. I have chosen a well-known character that we're going to be describing today. It is Merida from the Disney film Brave. She is one of my absolute favourite characters. I have split this activity up into four sections to make it a little bit easier. First, we're going to be describing Merida's appearance, then her clothing, then her accessories, and lastly, what she's good at. These are just some of the features that you could describe. I'm sure you could come up with many more. Here is the lovely picture of Merida that we are going to be describing today. First, we are going to describe the appearance. You could pause the video now and have a go at doing this yourself, or you could get some help from some of our other teachers. Miss Easton, it's over to you. Hi, Miss Toms, Miss Easton here. I've got my picture and I would say she has pale skin, long red, curly hair and blue eyes. Well done, Miss Easton. You picked out some really key features there. Miss Maxwell, now it's your turn to see if you could up-level those descriptions. Hi, Miss Toms. Merida's one of my favourite characters. I've written, Merida has bright emerald green eyes and wild red hair. Are my commas in the right place? One. Great job, Miss Maxwell. You did definitely use those commas correctly because you were creating a list. Now it's time for Miss Early to give this a go. Hi, everybody. Here's the start of my description of Merida. Merida's fiery and curly auburn locks flow down past her shoulders with her fringe occasionally falling across her brow. Her deep green eyes shine as brightly as an emerald blinking rarely as she scouts her surroundings. Wow, what a wonderful description that is, Miss Early. I especially like how you described the way Merida's hair flowed down her shoulders. Now that we have described Merida's appearance, we're going to move on to her clothing. Miss Easton, it's back to you. She is wearing a long dress that's dark blue and has bits of gold on it. Fab work, Miss Easton. You came up with three really great responses there. Miss Maxwell, it's over to you. For this sentence, I put, she wears a long, dark green dress. Super work, Miss Maxwell. Instead of just saying Merida wears a dress, you see she wears a long, dark green dress. These are brilliant adjectives. Remember, Adjectives are describing words. Miss Early, I wonder what you've come up with. Thankfully, Merida's deep forest green dress keeps her hidden as she hunts in the woods. The cascading hemline whispers against the leaves as she sneaks around. What a lovely and detailed description, Miss Early. I especially liked how you described the way Merida's dress moved. I can picture it so clearly in my head. Now that we have described Merida's appearance and clothing, it's time to move on to her accessories. Miss Easton, back to you. She is carrying a bow and has a large bag of arrows. Great job, Miss Easton. I also love that you have been writing in your cursive font. Well done. She often carries a bow and arrow because she is brave. What, what a fab and descriptive sentence, Miss Maxwell. I really like that you managed to use the connective because and you gave a reason as to why Merida carries a bow. I wonder if you at home could try and use a connective such as because in one of your next sentences. A sturdy bow sits proudly across her shoulders, whilst the arrows rest gently across her waist. 
Both bow and arrow holder are made of a strong wood carved with ancient writing. Bad job, Miss Early. I like that you take Miss Easton's idea about the bow and arrow and have transformed it into two really long and detailed sentences. Remember, you're welcome to write as many sentences as you like about each feature at home. She is good at archery, being strong, and of course, she is brave. Super job. I'm really impressed that you used the clues from the picture to work out what Merida might be good at. For example, you said that she's good at archery. This might have been because you saw her bow and arrows. Great job. For my last sentence, I have put, she likes running about and practicing archery. Thanks so much for helping me today. Super work. I really like that you used Miss Easton's basic sentences and up-leveled them by adding in more description. Miss Early, it's over to you. Merida's strong-willed and determined attitude makes her the perfect hunter. Taking responsibility for her brothers also makes her dedicated and caring. In addition to this, she is also loving and hmm, trustworthy. Impressive work, Miss Early. You have painted such a wonderful picture of Merida as a person. I like that you thought carefully about the skills and qualities needed to be a hunter, so described Merida as having a strong-willed and determined attitude. Fab work! If you enjoyed this activity today, why not have another go and do it for a different character? I'm going to include some pictures of different characters, but you're more than welcome to choose your own. Here are some examples you may wish to have a go at in your own time. You could pause the video on one that you like. Another idea, once you've completed a character profile, why not try write a creative story about them? I really hope you have enjoyed our character descriptions lesson today. You can share your work with us if you wish using the hashtag Kirky Creative on the school's Twitter page at Kirkliston PS. Thanks so much for joining us today. We all hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.